They say pedophiles want your kids, so that's an okay thing at Salon because it's a feeling they have. And if you want to pour Drano in your eyes, that's a feeling you have. But if man and woman hurts those that aren't men or women or boy or girl or father or mother, then what's next? You have to gouge your eyes out because somebody else doesn't have eyeballs? I mean, that's the logical extension of this. Well, maybe you have to pee yourselves and put it on Twitter like feminists are doing. But with the Salon thing, with the pedophile... They actually came out afterwards. They put a second article out by the same pedophile who's, like, on forums bragging about how he likes to touch young girls and how he drools over six-year-old girls. They put a second article out saying, the right-wing hate machine came out with all this vitriol against a pedophile. Well, yes, of course it did. He's a pedophile. Why are you giving him a platform in the first place? It's completely disgusting. And yet, but they have the moral high ground, so yeah. they can say pedophilia, Drano in the eyes, chopping her arms and legs off. Uh, is sexy and good. And we're bad for saying that lusting after young children is disgusting. We're bad. Well, the top leftist, uh, at least back in the time 10 years ago, when I was researching Schwarzenegger, I saw it's his favorite artist, is this German artist where it's like dead babies from car wrecks photos, but then he adds like maggots into the photos, or it's little girls with their legs spread in SS uniforms like four-year-olds. Yeah. Or it's photos of dead bodies with spikes through their eyes, and it was Schwartz, because I was doing image searches, putting a little piece in, in the film Martial Law about Schwarzenegger and all his gay porn stuff <clears throat> and why he was blackmailed. And I came across, and then I researched DeviantArt, and there's all the leftist billionaires are like into, they say it's a sacrament. They want to pay $70 million for a skull in, uh, in baby blood with maggots on top. It's not that it's worth anything. It's like they give all this money to, to make it a sacrament to worship the skull dipped in maggots. Yeah, that's, that's classic postmodernism. It's nihilism. They believe in nothing. They believe in literally nothing. We believe in nothing, Lebowski. So anything goes. Don't worry, these men are cowards. Yeah, anything goes. The sicker, the better. That's the essence of postmodernism, and it's in art. It's but then it's culture. sick and bad if we have a monogamous male and female relationship. That yeah. the, Us existing is bad for them because they're moral even though they have no morals. They dictate reality, and then we all bow down because they said so. Yeah, and using boy or girl, that's bad. You know, saying America might offend somebody who's from South America, that's bad. You can't do that anymore. That's triggering. But, oh, that's, and they're not just, this is not just weirdo groups saying this. This is being implemented all over the United States in government reservations. Yeah, major universities are pushing this. You know, you've got the president repeating the rape culture talking points. So this is not just a bunch of idiots on Twitter or Tumblr. This is, this is the system stuff. getting in between males and females. Yeah, and it's... Where it's now there's a phenomenon where you date a girl for six months and she goes, I don't like you anymore. I've decided retroactively that was all rape. And yeah. these women are getting put in jail because all the texts are there, hey, baby, come over and let's have sex. Meanwhile, they got them. Yeah, the cops are like, is this when they raped you right here? Yeah, they, they tried to pass a law in New Jersey called rape by fraud, where if you lied to a girl about your age, your career, your income, whatever before you had sex, even though she consented to sex at the time, retroactively she can go back and claim that you raped her. They're actually trying to put that into law and punish it's people. It's like, I'm an OG raping. Mega Mac. I got a Ferrari and $87 billion and 19 jumbo helicopters, baby, and a huge <laughs> pool with a rolling G pimp Mac. But I'm telling you right now, the crib I got is a one-bedroom with roaches the size of chihuahuas, so it'll come on back with me, baby. You're the one that's dumb to do that, lady. Yeah, and the, the instigator of this put up this website, Rape by Fraud website, where she listed people who had been reported as doing this alongside Megan's Law violators, who, you know, Megan's Law is based on the rape and murder of a six-year-old girl. So if you lie so about it's just, your age, it's, 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 it's crazy people that have a weird thing about men and are, and are part of this new fight with men movement to disintegrate society.